All right, guys, so I'm gonna remove these badges on the fender. So um, this is the original one that came in with the car, but it's actually chrome underneath there. And I don't know if you've seen some of my videos, but I did have actually these same wheels, uh, plastic dip with that color. But somehow I kind of left it too long, the plastic dip. And um, I couldn't take it out. I didn't want to mess with it because when I did it now that you can see it's like this is about five years old on it. So it really cooked down there hard and it's probably easier to just replace the whole thing. And I actually don't want chrome. So I'm going to do black. So that's the car. Let me see. Um, and I'm actually going to install these black ones with white because now I'm going with the white accents because I did the white calipers and I have the white stickers on the T37s right here. So it looks nice. So I'm going to do this one and I think it's going to look good. But I was watching some videos of people taking them off and uh, it seems like they're having a hard time taking it off. I feel just using glue. I mean, uh, little pry bar uh, tools. But this tool is kind of like a hard plastic. It's more for like an interior stuff, I think. And I don't want to scratch the car. So I think you can actually put tape there so you can protect the paint while you're doing this. But I have these other little um it's like a squeegee but it's almost like a rubber and this was to put um actually used it for tint on a car before and it's really flexible soft so what i'm using is just a heat gun heat it up a little bit i actually cleaned the car just with like a dash and glass cleaner this is there's no dust and it's actually i did the other side already i took it off but i just kind of wanted to show this because it seems very easy the way i'm doing it because other people are using like string or the pride little tools but this seems to work pretty good and i'm just putting some heat maybe like 20 seconds on it and I noticed on the other side that if you stop putting the pride thing here, you're going to go underneath the fender flare little thing on the plastic. So you're not pulling the, the badge, but you're actually moving the whole plastic thing in the back. So if you can see now that it's loose, and like I said, this is very flexible and it's soft. It's just going right in. And... I, of course, there's no dust or sand underneath there. And again, this is very soft, so it's not scratching. And I'm just going little by little. Ooh, and there it is. And now, well, look at that. That's just coming out really easy. Actually, what I did when I cleaned it, I... I just use this dash and glass cleaner from Turtle Wax. So I soaked it. I put a lot of it. And I think that helped a lot because all the liquid went in the back. And you can kind of see that it's still wet in there. And when I use the heat gun, it heats it up in there. So it kind of like boils it in there, of course. And that's how it came out. And now I'm just going to clean it up. And we'll put it on, okay? Okay, so I just wiped it down. I want to show you these little little holes right here, this little tab here, and this other hole here. So the badge comes with that little thing there. So that goes into that, and this other hole goes right in there. Um, so basically, that's how it's going to look. But... I'm going to take the black, I mean the 
3M tape there and we'll put it back on it's gonna be nice